Following on from the previous video, let's consider a possum population in a national park with the following details. So in these tables, we have age-specific population, possum population distribution, age-specific breeding rates of possums, and age-specific survival rates. So we can see that the lifespan of a possum is five years, is what this is saying um, and it's split it in to five groups each of one year long. Part A says find the possum population after 10 years. Okay so let's do a Leslie matrix. So we have our survival rates on the diagonals, our breeding rates across the top. So 0, 1 1.3, 1 1.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.4. Okay, so survival rates are on the diagonal and our breeding rates are across the top. So that's L. My initial population, we only want females, so 194, 82, 55, 22, and 6. And you can also see, because they've given us the total population, that those numbers are approximately half. So an assumption that male and females are approximately 50% is valid. Okay, so we want the possum population after 10 years. So P of 10 is going to be equal to L of 10 times P of 0. Go to our calculators and work that out. And we get... 2,378.3 2, 1,104.32, 683.842, 423.086, and 131.034. So to work out the possum population, we need to add those numbers up. So our total population is going to be should go approximately two times the sum of those numbers because we want males and females, which is approximately 9441.204. So therefore, total population is approximately 9,441. Now, I should have written my assumption, which I did state. Looking at our total population and female population, we can assume they're approximately equal. Okay, now part B was find the growth rate of the possums. So we need our eigenvalue of our L. So going to our calculators. Our positive dominant lambda is approximately 1.29. Therefore, growth rate is approximately 